with working at a strip club as a bartender, you get, do you guys consider guys well, do you guys consider yourself sex workers or just bartenders at a sex workplace? Yes. Yeah. To I the, was to the latter of that. I feel like it could we could be viewed as that though, I guess. Um I don't know. I guess what is the definition of a sex worker? I looked it up the other day and the sex worker is anybody that Sell entertains sex. a sexual fantasy or sex mm -hmm. for money. Yeah. So technically by definition, yeah. we're sex workers. Yes, you guys are. So I would say probably on the lower end of sex work because there's a lot of other sex workers out there that you know what I mean? Like I mean, wanna... kind of like what I said earlier. That's kind of how I feel about it. But and I don't want to disrespect sex workers. Right. By but saying if, that if we someone are... called me a sex worker, I would not be offended. I would right. I wouldn't even say anything. I would just agree. I would What's the difference between like you being a female bartender in lingerie versus like a dancer on stage besides the lap dance? I'm not taking my titties out. I'm saying somewhat fully clothed, if you can call it that. But yeah, that's the, honestly, the difference is your tits aren't out. Mm -hmm. we're, we're behind the bar. We don't take our titties out. You're on stage. You take your titties out and you dance. I mean, I dance sometimes behind the bar just for funsies, but right. I would say that's the difference between a bartender and a strip club. Because if this was like the 1920s, 1930s, it'd be like, no, you guys are all on the same sex work. <laughs> you're all whores. Yeah. <laughs> You're all whores. You're all going to, to hell. Yep. That's, that's it. Fun. Sinners. <laughs> Sinners. Right? I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, it, that's that's the original definition. But I think in today's society, it's definitely a lot more laxed. Yeah. Like, unless you're selling pussy or whatever, you know what I mean? Yeah. For sex. Right. Pro like, I was talking to a friend of mine earlier, and he was like, if you think about sex work, anything is sex work. Like, if you're wearing a bikini, you that could technically be sex work. It could be. Like, bikini baristas? Right. Baristas? Baristas, yeah. Baristas? Actually, those girls get topless and... Completely. oh do they yeah sometimes yeah but, oh yeah but anyway so stop yeah, right <laughs> not those girls oh, Pits and caffeine let's go <laughs> they're in dubai they're in dubai they're in dubai <laughs> they're in asia that's where they're at yeah there are uh, there's shops in asia called cat what cafes. we have them here just cafes or something we have them here yeah what? but not, not they had one in vegas but it failed no i know yeah. but i'm saying like america, america. Yeah, yeah america they have a america. cafe shops and basically they serve you coffee at topless and like Where Orange County, right? Here? Super skimpy. Dude, yeah. that's amazing. In yeah. the morning, you wake up, go see Titty. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Where is this what location? I like you. We're right? gonna I like this. you guys. Liked it. Well, see, it doesn't work here in we Vegas, like though. <laughs> Perfect. But in, in, they do in what, Orange County? Yeah. Yeah, there's Maybe. a lot of it in Orange County, but they had one here in Vegas in Chinatown, but it failed because the girls weren't making that much money. I would they, say the location was probably off also. Oh, I mean, I don't think there's much that, I mean, they probably didn't advertise it very well either, yeah. but I mean, like a well, lot of the can't. girls. You can't. Yeah, right. you have to get into licensing and stuff like yeah. that. But like, think about it. it. You could either work for like a very small niche, or you can go and just strip in the club and make thousands of dollars. Right. Week, right. So. Yeah. Going back to all the topics, I don't want to skip everything. But um, so sex sex work is basically anything that's sexy, right? And then you're making money from it. That's sex work. Period. Making money from. Right. I mean, from at that point, even as, as a server, you can be a sex worker. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Especially like I would the, say not yeah, beach that would, that would apply like that. also for the yeah. servers, the cocktail servers. Hundred percent. Yeah. If you're in something skimpy and you're selling the idea of sexy, yeah, that's sex work. Yeah. Right. I agree. I'm just saying that it's much more lax nowadays yeah. because, like, think about it. Like, porn stars are now viewed as celebrities, and you know all mm -hmm. this shit. It's fucking crazy. But if you were to take it back to the 1920s and 30s, you guys would all be whores, like yeah. what you were saying. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I think the 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 more important thing is probably prostitution and then like sex work. Yeah. Because you can be like a phone sex operator and be considered sex worker. Yeah. And not show any skin or anything. You're just talking dirty. Yeah. Because you know it's still I mean? selling the fantasy. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all of Vegas. If you think about it, it's just selling a fantasy being in one way or another, yeah. right? Yeah. So all of Vegas is technically sex work. That's actually a really good point. Yeah, yeah. Right. Vegas, I never thought about that. The city right. of yeah. sin. Yeah. yeah. The city yeah. of sin. Yeah, I never thought about it that way either until just now. But because like, you guys have been desensitized. Yeah, true. If it was like a Mormon person, yeah. you know, from like Provo, Utah, and they came over oh here, they were like, holy sh... You Which know what I mean? Which we get a lot yeah. of in the club. We get yeah. a lot of people are like, oh my God, I'm from blah, blah, blah. This is my first time in a strip club ever. Right. I don't know what to do. Wait, so they go to like Hustlers for the first time? Deer in the headlights. A lot of oh, times, all the yeah. time. All the yeah. time. Really? It's it's quite the... It's not full nude, right? It's not? No. Okay. I mean, but I mean, the, the G-Things are very thin. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're yeah. very thin. You got to do it for the imagination. It is crazy, though, because like even when I go home back to Minnesota, and you guys have to realize, like, I did move from um, St. Paul, but I'm from a very, very small town, mm. like less than 900 in the whole town. Wow. And so when I used to work out here and I used to sell beer, people would ask me like, how's your job going? How's sales? How's this? How's that? And now nobody will ask me anything because it's, it's like, I wouldn't say that they're too afraid, but like no one wants to ask me if I'm a stripper. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. So they all assume I'm a stripper yeah, and yeah, I don't yeah. feel the need to defend myself because mm. 
who fucking cares first of all right yeah. but i'm just a bartender yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, like i just bartend and like the fact that a lot of them would rather just like it's, I don't know, almost like judge me and, yeah, yeah, and it's taboo me and not even mm -hmm. ask. Yeah, right, it's, right. it's still taboo. And it's not even right. that they're like being judgmental really or or hateful. It's more of like naive. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're not exposed. Or they don't want to offend by like if they oh my no, god, I don't exactly. want I don't want to ask her. Exactly. Yeah, it's almost, and, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And I and I truly believe that because they're good people. Mm -hmm. They are good people, but for me it was like it's almost culture shock after culture right. shock out here. It was like one thing after another. I'm like okay that's how that goes okay next thing okay that's how that goes like it's mm -hmm. a lot and mm -hmm. if you can't like take it in and separate it you're fucked yeah <laughs> it's kind of like vegas can eat you alive yeah, yeah you have to really have a can. really thick alive. skin yeah to be here thank you for watching that short clip of waku radio to find a full episode go follow us on the link below make sure you like subscribe and hit that notification button if you like us you hate us comment below don't forget to live like yours cooking up the track i'm the baker just like anita just that five star michelin quality you can eat